my name is Meghna. My name is Meghna, and I'm the founder I'm of a Delhi-based startup, Delhi-based startup, Fawn Livelihood, Fawn Livelihood, which aims at building aims capacities, at building capacities of the youthful workforce, the youthful workforce. To our innovative training and learning program, it was an attempt to bring together youth, dignitaries across the globe, to initiate a discussion around the global goals, which are the sustainable development goals. And in the first episode of the Youth Sustainability Dialogue. We have with us we our esteemed us guest, our esteemed guest, Dr. Sudhir Joshi, Sudhir Joshi, who is the DAO Vadodara. He is also the founder, also the founder SDG, Brigade SDG Brigade India, and country director, and country director WIIMU. WIIMU. We welcome you, sir. We welcome you, sir. Uh, our second uh, guest, our of second day, guest of the day is Francis, is Francis, who is the project who manager. Is the project manager. At Entrepreneurs Connect Africa. Africa. Welcome, Francis, Welcome to the first Francis episode of the, episode the Sustainable, of the sustainable uh, Development uh, Dialogue. Thank you for having me. Our third Our very special, third special, guest special guest of the episode, the episode is Moala, is Moala, who is the co-founder, is the co-founder of, of an organization, of an based, organization out Zambia, based out of Zambia, Change I Want. Change I want. Welcome, Moala, to the first Mala, episode the first of episode the session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, we welcome so, all the viewers all to, also, the viewers be to also be a part of the session and to stay with us. And to stay with us. If you have any questions, you have any questions feel free to type in the chat box. So, we officially so, commence with the discussion of our discussion first session. And I would really and want all really the want esteemed, all guests esteemed guests to give a short introduction, a short about, introduction themselves, about themselves, sharing their journey, sharing their journey of, successes, of successes, the challenges that, the they, challenges have faced, that they have faced, the obstacles, the that, obstacles that, they have overcome, that they have overcome, and their inspiration, and their inspiration of their achievements. Their achievement. So I would like so Dr. Sudhir to begin with the discussion. Begin with the discussion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, thank Meg- you Meghna ji. Uh, good afternoon good to afternoon. all. Myself, Dr. Sudhir Joshi. I'm a district I'm a Aish officer. Aish officer. Class 1 grade Class in one government, grade of Gujarat, government of Gujarat, India. India. I am working as I'm a working as Health officer. Health officer. Main portfolio is Ayush. So basically, 36 government dispensary. I am handling and controlling. So since last five years, I have been working with SDG. First, I joined. WIMUN, W-I-M-U-N. As, a as a delegate in 2015. In 2015. Then, then keen, interest keen interest and contribution towards, contribution towards sustainable, globe sustainable globe make me, make me inspired, inspired to contribute, to contribute globally. globally. And then, and then I, joined I joined as a country ambassador, a country ambassador in WIMUN. Then, then, I have, I have attended so many MUNs, so many conferences, so many conferences workshops, workshops for, for SDG 2030. 2030. In, 2019, in 2019, a thought came in my mind. In my mind. Can, we start Can we start a new brigade? A new brigade. And, that and that we announced, we announced and launched. And in 5th September, September 2020. 2020, that is SDG that Brigade, is SDG India. Brigade India. SDG Brigade, SDG Brigade India, India, basically, an initiative of a youth, initiative of, youth of, Vadodara, of Vadodara, come forward, come forward for, for 
strengthening the nation we are we are training the youth channelizing them for various projects and a group of youth group of youth are are working in various themes projects projects and now now ready ready to serve as a good contributor for contributor for sustainable india sustainable india our mission is our mission is sustainable india by 2030 and our vision is sarvashreshth bharat by 2047 as we all know as we all know united nation declared global goals global goals which is 17 right now we are working we are working for sdg 1 to sdg 6 basically we are working in six sdg and we formulated we formulated 10 students or 10 brigadiers in one sdg so we are now 60 youth in six sdg we are we are attached with attached with various other institutes college college and universities we are working we are working for for basically basically good health and well being health and well being quality education quality education good holistic nourishment holistic nourishment equal opportunity rights equal opportunity rights water and sanitation water and sanitation and and social social issues issues we heartily congratulate we congratulate meghna ji meghna ji for Uh, taken up such initiative, such initiative where, where various agencies various agencies stakeholders stakeholders ngos ngos come forward come forward for one mission one vision one mission one vision being a being a indian indian i have to pay attention to, to pay attention my country my country but being a human being a human i have to focus i have universal global goals so let's come forward for peace for peace prosperity prosperity and solidarity and solidarity right now right now i am telling i am telling what exactly we are doing what exactly we are we divided divided 17 sdg in seventh theme for for theme 1 theme 1 the sdg is 1 2 and 12 2 and 12 and the title is the title is ending poverty poverty including food security security through sustainable consumption consumption and production and production these are the theme 1 Team one related with SDG one, SDG two, and SDG twelve. What is our team two? Team two is related with SDG three and SDG six. That is health care, improved water and sanitation. Both are related with each other. What is our team three? Team three is absolutely SDG four. ensuring education for all team 4 is related with sdg 7 sdg 8 sdg 9 and 11 sustainable development of urbanization including modern energy economic growth through employment resilient industrialization and sustainability team 5 Five. is related with is sdg 5 and 10 five and 10 that is issues of issues of inequality inequality team 6 related with sdg, sdg 13 14 15, 15 that is that is action against action against climate change climate change sustainable use of ocean, use of ocean. 
and ecosystem and ecosystem theme 7 theme 7 related with sdg 16 and 17 that is technology facilitating trade innovative mechanism and institutional strengthening concerned goals these seven themes divided all sdg 17 so uh, in this dialogue basically basically we want we want youth youth come forward come forward what should we expect from youth youth must be informed so we use pi pi informed inspired integrate there are three layers for communication and action first of all our prime responsibility to inform youth youth about sustainable goals our mission our vision our action our issues our issues then after getting knowledge youth will join us will join us then then we will train them we will train them make them change agent change agent then they will inspire they will inspire then then we will show them we will show them the right track the right track of integration of integration collaboration collaboration how to act how to act and how to get how to get effect and impact effect and impact on all sdg on all sdg every youth every youth have, have knowledge knowledge skill skill and attitude and attitude. we have to we have to make them make them channelize channelize then and then then and then we will get we will get result result we are we are doing doing various activities various activities like like poster competition poster competition webinar webinar debate online events various expert talks essays writing slogans you should are engaging in such activities and they will explore their knowledge we are inspiring them by giving certificates token of appreciation and they get motivation from it so these are the basic process what we are doing i am just explaining you niti ayog niti ayog the government of india basic policy and think tank now mapping mapping all the 230 <laughs> targets, all 169 targets with various ministry various ministry so right now so right now after 2018 report we have clear mission and clear vision track is clear we have to work and keep moving on and on most of the youth are ready to serve for nation but they don't have a direction and guideline we are here for giving them direction and guideline if we if we want sustainable globe we have to we have to pay attention to basic issues like like we have to focus on drop out ratio quality education pregnant woman care child care women rights equality water and sanitation and basic poverty these are the basic factors which are doing issues in the society so let's come forward let's come forward to make peaceful 
एंड हैप्पी ग्लोब दिस इज वॉट फ्रॉम माई साइड एंड इफ एनी टाइप ऑफ कोलाबोरेशन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एनी प्रोजेक्ट एनी एफिलिएशन मी एंड माई टीम ऑलवेज रेडी टू सर्व शेयर केयर फॉर द सोसाइटी थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर वर्ड्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन एंड स्पेसिफिकली यू नो स्पेरिंग टाइम टू कम लाइव एंड ऑल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दी लाइव सेशन बिकॉज आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर ऑन अ ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन आवर ड्यूटी इन हॉस्पिटल एंड आई स्टिल फील दैट यू आर इन हॉस्पिटल बिकॉज आई कुड सी some people some you know people crying you know crying in the background in the background so it's really heartening really to heartening see to the, work the work that you have been doing you have been doing and also the dedication also in which you have, which you have come up have come up with this wonderful this initiative full initiative to bring everyone together to bring everyone together specifically the youth specifically the youth so we we will uh, move we will, over to uh, francis uh, now francis now Uh, Francis, it would Francis, be great if you could share a brief journey share about your journey successes, about your successes, and the work okay. that you are doing. Okay, thank you very much, and let me say a warm welcome to all my friends from India. I'm no, uh, I'm, I'm not an Indian, but I can say a few words. Namaste to all my Indian brothers and sisters, and also to my friends from Zambia and also from Ghana, connecting us on this wonderful platform. Yes my name is Mr Francis Apia Fuku and um I began my journey as a teacher I'm still I'm still in the high school teaching and for some years now I've been teaching mathematics to high school students and so that is where the journey began from I became a patron for one of the clubs in the school called the Ghana United Nations Student Association so there we started looking at student involvement in Ghana in the United Nations um, programs and then we also saw that um some of the students were not even aware of the sustainable development goals so it became one of my aim to organize seminars organize trainings for students to understand the sustainable development goal because just like doctor has said the youth are the future and anything that we do we cannot leave the youth out so we needed to incorporate the youth into our 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 plans and our programs so that is where i started from and then also i saw that um we were tackling a lot of goals but we needed to focus on some of the key goals that were important to us the first one was number 1 the sdg 1 which is poverty and if i should share some few information about poverty in africa africa continues to face an alarming employment crisis in the region as a whole the unemployment rate is estimated at 10.3% and three quarters of those with work are reported to be in vulnerable or insecure jobs and among the working poor now this employment challenge is however not confined to africa and i believe that it is a global um, pandemic if i can put it that way so we said that it it was roaring for students to finish school and go out and not be able to get jobs to do and so they fall into a lot of these social vices arm robbery crime um drug abuse and so many cases so we realized that it wasn't the fault of the student it was it was the system that we were working with so we started talking about number 4 the sdg 4 which is education how can we prepare the minds of our young ones or our youth so that as they are young and they are growing up we incorporate the sdg goals into them so when they finish school they don't need to wait for the government to give them job before they do they needed to create jobs entrepreneurial ideas and so we started looking at three concept the m is for the mindset how do we change your mindset to feel like okay when i finish school i'm waiting for the government to employ me the attitude that they came with how can we generate attitude where they now become interested in sdg goals for example climate change i have a student who is working on disposable of plastics how do we help to get rid of plastic waste management systems or how do we support waste management in a country also have a student who is working on renewable energy sources um fortunately for my school we used to um have a vision to bring about biogas energy or fuel um that is also ongoing 
So we have this biogas system that we wanted to incorporate. These are all wonderful concepts that if the youth get involved, we know there's a student working on solar, solar panel energy. He's also doing very well, and we are looking forward to incorporate all of So these are some of the um, methodologies we wanted to start with, so that as time goes on, we'll create a platform, and that platform will bring together all these entrepreneurs together who have the SDG interest at heart. So when they have the SDG goals, we also give them the opportunity to also start their own businesses or entrepreneurial ideas, and we are helping them to get rid of poverty. And once they are able to start this journey, they can also bring along their friends together. Because um, the youth among themselves, they always communicate. So when a leader is talking, and they feel like the leader is too far away from them. But among themselves, when they see their colleagues doing it, they become inspired to also do it. And so that was the, one, the other goal. The other goal was the decent work and economic growth. So we talk about decent work. We said that in decent work, we wanted to look at how we can manage um, giving them the, the, the tools to be able to start working for themselves. How do we start working for yourself when you don't have the training, when you don't have the skills? Yes, they go to school, all right. They learn what they need to learn. But outside the school system, the, the other system of work is different. And so this was some of the things that we wanted to look at. Again, I wanted to read something. Africa continues to face, and of course, I've said that already, an unemployment crisis that we are working with, just like the pandemic. And some of these um, challenges have to do with just a few proportion. Mostly it is the vulnerable groups, the young the women and the youth. Now a lot of our women are home taking care of their relatives who might have fallen sick or something, and also having to um, add to their daily activities and also go out there and look for um, income. And then the youth who are very vulnerable. The education system was one area that we saw that we could tackle. During the COVID-19, we saw that um, a lot of our students were at home, so another entrepreneur came out with an idea to go online. And I can tell you that that program has been a success. A lot of our students are benefiting from the program. They are now learning online. They are getting their notes, their feedback from their, their teachers. And so we saw that we can, it does, education doesn't have to be always in the classroom. They can be outside the classroom and still benefit. Now, one major constraint we saw about the non-availability of, um, about this whole challenges was the non-availability of up-to-date and reliable data on demands, employment opportunities, unemployment, and other relevant features of the labor market, which can constrain labor planning, planning and monitoring of job creation. So we saw that our data system was even a challenge. We couldn't even get the data on how many students were leaving the university, how many students after the first year were employed, how many are still looking for jobs, how many jobs have been created within a particular year, in the country. And so these were some of the challenges we were facing, and we saw that the rapid growth of the labor force, which stands from the high population growth rate, is also a very challenging factor for us. I mean, most of the migration is from the rural areas to the urban cities. So for a city like the capital of Ghana, which is Accra, you have a huge population growth. And this population growth, if you are not careful, will lead to a lot of challenges for our system because there will they, they won't be enough jobs to cater for the people that are in the system. So I think I will end here and let my friend continue. These are some of the things that I wanted to share. Thanks, Francis. Uh, I do have a lot of questions which we will discuss in the second part of, part of the discussion. Now we will now invite uh, Moala. Who is the co-founder of Change I Want to take us through his journey? Okay, I guess he's facing some network issue. I'll add him again. So meanwhile, when uh, you know we are waiting for Mola to join, maybe we can you know initiate the discussion with Doctor Sudeep and also Francis based on the things that we had discussed. So, okay. uh, yeah. So, uh, Dr. Sadir, I am really interested in knowing 
your bigger vision bigger vision of taking the brigade taking forward. the brigade forward so here are we only so looking into only creating change makers based out of india based out of india or are we also planning to you know include more people uh, from abroad and also include global uh, list of change makers who could be a part of the brigade part of the brigade uh hello am i audible hello am i audible yes yes uh, this initiative is uh, not only for like india but india india can lead the other countries also this is our one our one example example of of embracing change embracing change we want we want contribution contribution involvement involvement interaction interaction for for integration integration youth has immense power has immense power okay i think uh, mawla uh, mawla is uh, join light uh, you can ask now you can ask now. yes mawla can you hear us mawla can you hear us i can hear you can you hear me yes 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 we yes, can also yes, hear you we can also hear you I'm so nice. we we'll, <laughs> yeah yeah no worries uh, no worries we'll uh, now uh, begin now, with your uh, official uh, you, know, uh, you know introduction of how you started with your journey how you started with your journey okay. and the wonderful name the wonderful name of your organization of your which organization, is change i want is change i want okay. yeah yeah thank you so much thank you so much okay uh, i don't know whether you heard uh, me the first time but uh, my full name is mwala ilwange and uh, I am the co-founder of a youth organization called Change I Want. Mm. So Change I Want was founded in 2015 uh, by a young lady called Omi and, uh, and myself. So the reason why we really started the organization uh, started with the challenges that we were facing ourselves. Uh, for example, myself. Myself. I was uh, I'm a very creative person and there was a time I started a business of manufacturing backpacks. So, manufacturing backpacks using um, canvas, just some very good quality materials. However, the challenge that I realized was that uh, all our raw materials were imported and they were very expensive to an extent where the cost of producing one bag was uh, was more than the market price for backpacks so it was very difficult for me and uh, alternative solutions for me to find to find funds so that i can uh, import proper materials was quite cumbersome and there was need for a lot of collateral and all these things so in short there was no structure for a youth like me to find assistance based on the skills innovations and business ideas that I'm having yes apart from that uh, we were looking at a situation where a lot of youths are unemployed and uh, we have graduates that are coming out of schools every year and they're expecting the governments to employ but that is really not happening anywhere in the any country now we have a lot of high unemployment rate so uh we decided to pro- to come up with a platform where youths can find solutions to their problems we decided to address critical issues that have to do with our environment uh because of la- so much lack of employment so many youths have been engaging in unsustainable uh environmentally harmful business activities such as charcoal burning which is very unsustainable and bad for our uh for the environment so we decided to to have a people centered advocacy for sustainable and environmentally friendly initiative friendly initiative for the youth for the youth yeah so uh currently uh, uh, we are working on collaborating with uh, a 
a local organization here in Zambia. Yes, uh, we are going to run organization program in uh, schools, public schools, where we are going to teach people about climate change, the impact it has had in our environment so far, as well as uh, imparting new ideas of, of livelihood, income sources of people, so that while the youth and the children are still in school, they can have better ideas of how to live and protect the environment. So, in short, uh, that's change I want. That's really interesting. And the kind of work that, uh, that you are doing and also the passion in which you are doing, that also gets reflected by the things that you shared with us. That's really great. That's really great. So with this, so with I would, this, uh, you know, want, uh, you would know, like, want to to ask like to ask a question to both Francis and Mola, because, you know, you have because, been you know, you working have been with a lot of entrepreneurs and also young people. So how many lives so how have many been, lives you, have you been have able to you impact been able so, to so far? And, you know, when, oh, you, you know, when you actually when talk you about actually talk uh, about the various uh, programs various and also, programs you know, the things that you are, uh, running. You are uh, running, so, um, so um, there are the challenges, are the that, challenges, challenges that, 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 that Okay, I think I can answer my for now. Yes, um, we started, uh, or let me say that this vision was... Um, something that started from the high school system. So we have students in high school who come in every three years, they graduate and they move on to university. So when they come and then we share this idea with them, this is form of like, they grow with it. So now we have a lot of, since 2010 when we, I became um, a teacher, I've been sharing this concept with a lot of students. It even led me to write a book and then also try to um, move around the university campuses, try to organize programs with them. So I would say that we are, we are looking at a generational challenge and we are looking at a generational solution. So now that we've started, we are looking at in the next 10, 10 years, a lot of our students who would have by then uh, moved into the working class, let me put it that way, will have a, an interest in sustainable development goals. Um, let me quote something that we say that a job is a basic human right, that every human being must be able to have the right to work if, um, free choice of labor, employment, to just and favorable conditions of work and to protection against unemployment. And in the Ghanaian constitution also, we have the same thing in it that jobs are central to people's well-being. So it means that people who are not working have a lot of, um, I don't want to put it, but it is crucial, not only for the people to meet their basic needs, but also to provide them with dignity, self-confidence, hope, self-respect, status, and a means to realize their own self-potential. So when we started, our challenges were that, number one, the data wasn't available. Um, that was also a problem. Number two, we saw that um, awareness creation was very low. Because once they are in school and they don't know, when would they know? Is it when they go out of the school and they are now working and they are now looking for jobs? So Entrepreneurs Connect Africa is trying to create a platform where we bring together all these minds together. I mean, somebody might be in a different um, field, but he knows somebody who is also doing something, but we can all collaborate together to be able to sustain the employment situation in our country. Because as I said before, it is getting to a crisis level, just like the pandemic. I mean, if you are not careful, it might get out of hand because we have a lot of our youth coming out of school every year and still we are not giving them any jobs to do. So that's what I think um, my co-panelists were talking about, that if you are not careful, these young ones who are the future, who are the solution, people think that you don't have the solution, but I tell you, they have a lot of ideas. I work with them every day and the kind of ideas they share with me, the kind of um, imaginative creativity they have, emotional there's so much that potential that they have that we are not tapping into and so when we are able to give them the platform to be able to of course there'll be um, i think we'll talk about the funding issues that we have but recently i was engaged with the um, united Nations development program they had a program on the sdg investor platform 
which the Ghana Investment Promotion was also um, involved in the creation of that program. So we saw that, okay, there's this platform that's been created for them to go and look at the resources and then the availability of funds, but how many of them know about it? So that's one area that I want to look at, the education part, trying to sensitize our youth that you can have an idea, but we can be the platform to connect you with the funding so that you be able to sustain your idea. Thank you. I think that was a very uh, important point that you had mentioned and our audience are also pointing that out. Uh, Dr. Sudhir, would you like to add something to it? Mm. Uh, yeah. The main thing is that uh, all should have clear mission and clear vision. So our youth have very, uh, as uh, Mr. Francis told, that youth have a very good uh, potency, skill, idea, but we have to make channelize. <laughs> Give them platform, make enough training, give them reliable sources and then we can get a very good outcome of what we want. First of all, I am giving you today one idea. How can, How can we integrate? For example, For example if, we want if we want good quality education. Good quality education. So, for that, so for that, I have, I have assigned, assigned four agencies. Four agencies. One, is one is Education Department of Government. Department of government. One, is one is SDG Brigade India. SDG Brigade India. One is, one is <laughs> Education Institute. Education Institute and one is and one is one high school. One high school. All four all four come together. Come together. Make, make one project. Project. Right now, right now we are we are focusing focusing on on those students. Those students who are not in the school, not getting admission not getting in the school. school. These four agencies, four agencies make sure, make sure that, that all join school. All join then we will get the good outcome. So we are focusing on, focusing on indicators of SDG. Likewise, Likewise, SDG 3.1, we are started, started various activity of 3.1. We want healthy pregnancy, healthy baby. We don't want infant mortality, maternal mortality. We want sustainable life for that. We are integration of various agencies. This is one idea I am giving. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think uh, that is uh, useful and also insightful. And also insightful. Pala, if you are if you are online over here, I have sent you a request. Just try to join them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so now that you know uh, we have discussed about challenges, the roles of your uh, respective uh, organizations. Organizations. Yeah. So yeah. I would so really I like really want like both of you both of you to share your to share message your to the young change makers. Young change makers. Who would be watching this would video? Watching who would be video, connecting, connecting with us? Connecting with us. And also uh, and our viewers who are live with us. Who are live with us. So what is your what message, is your to, the message to the young change makers? Okay, I'll let Doctor go first, or I should start. Uh, Francis, you start Francis, first. You start. All right, thank you very much. So my my message to all the youth and the young um, generation that are looking at that 
there's hope for the future. Um, I believe so much that um, we still are having this um, change is inevitable. I mean, we're all around and then the pandemic came. Nobody expected that schools would be shut down, businesses would be shut down. All this is came at a point where in our lives we didn't expect it. But just like we said, it's not about the change. It's about accepting the change and moving on. What can we do to be able to solve the problem that we have? And of course, this has even led to a, whole, a, a lot of technological advancement. Now we are connecting through Zoom and then Instagram just because we are at different places but we can still meet together. It means that we can share ideas and solve our problems anywhere we are in the world. So that you should lead the change. That's what I have to say. We shouldn't wait for change. We should lead the change with ideas, with innovation, with creativity. And just like I said, most of our youth just need a platform. And I'll tell you, they can drive change the way we want to go. By leading the change, we must also have in our back of our mind the SDG goals. Because we have only one planet, and this is the only planet that we have. So as much as we develop our ideas, we should also have at the back of our mind the sustainable development goals, which I believe are very critical for the you to understand that we need to help to reduce or eliminate poverty. We need to talk about education, the systems of the quality of education that we need to develop. In Ghana here, we have the free SHS system, which is running, but we need to do more because if you look at the numbers that are coming out of the schools, how do we sustain that project? Decent work and economic growth, application or affordable clean energy, and also clean water and sanitation. These are all critical issues that the youth now should start thinking about and helping us to solve these challenges. Because we can't, we can't just sit down and expect change to happen. We need to drive the change. So our main focus as the Africa Connect, uh, Entrepreneurs African Connect, is to create the platform or identify startups that have the potential to sustain or support SDG goals. And then we train them just like, of course, now I have a lot of friends in India, in IT firms who can help us to create certain platforms that will also generate growth. So these are the ideas that are coming out. We also want to build a rich inventory of businesses and models and opportunities. I know some things that can be working in India can also be replicated. Now we have a lot of um, Indian firms around which can also we look at all these potentials and all the mo models that they work with. So these are the ideas that we have. That's really interesting. And we would look forward to know more ideas on how we can collaborate. So that, you know, uh, we can synergize and work together to achieve the uh, global agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's great. Uh, we'll move over to Dr. Sudhir. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, right now we are facing uh, COVID-19 pandemic crisis and uh, our uh, uh, right now prime uh, goal is uh, prosperous societies. How can we make prosperous societies? Uh, we have to focus on ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all at all ages. We want, we want solidarity, solidarity peace, peace, happiness, happiness in, the globe. in the globe. So my message is, my message is let's, all let's all come forward, come forward for, for one mission and one mission, one mission, and one mission. That, is, that is sustainable globe. Sustainable globe. We, have to we have to contribute. contribute for, for sustainability, sustainability. For, for considering, considering need, of need of future generations, future generations. We, want we want prosperity, prosperity. By, by making, making change, change in environment, in environment. Clarity, and clarity and purity of thoughts make us, make us sound and if we want harmony then we have to come in motion time is start let's join 
in this big initiative initiative taken by taken by united nation united nation thank you so i think that so was think quite that uh, inspiring uh, inspiring so before we come so to an end to our uh, live session uh, live session anything that you would anything like to share which like we share might have missed out might have missed out any important any message important message any important any thing that you have in your mind have in your mind anything related anything to your related organization, to your organization that you would like to share on how can we collaborate how can we collaborate how can youth collaborate how can young change maker collaborate collaborate to solve to the solve global challenges that we are facing at the can i say something okay can so something? Uh, francis uh, francis sure doc okay 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 uh, uh, see we are here for not solution not solution we are here for resolution resolution let's come forward for resolution forward for resolution i have three ideas i have three ideas the phone is the phone is every every month every month we will make we will make one event one event either in the form of dialogue dialogue debate debate or mun or mun topics are different topics are different speakers are different speakers are different but mission and vision one same mission and vision one same that is one that is one second is second is can we make can we make whatsapp group whatsapp group of various collaborative agencies collaborative agencies share their views share their views share their success stories share their success stories and inspired us and inspired us and third one is and third one is can we make can we make one common platform common platform where where we all we all join together join together and one for one for one mission one vision, one mission, one vision. okay thank you very true sir very true sir francis yeah. i think i think i think doc has has summarized everything in the wonderful quote he made that we are not here for a solution we are here for a resolution that is very very powerful and i believe that um, as africans we see ourselves as part of the globe so we want to embrace the new ideas that come you know all that we are talking about is a multi dimensional uh, we want to create a multi dimensional platform where we can harness ideas from each other and see how we can all come together on board like you have said already we can create a platform on whatsapp and then tackle one major discussion at a time and i believe that there are so many wonderful speakers we can get who can come and share their ideas and all that the youth is looking out for is leadership if they see the right leadership bringing out the right motivation they will follow along Well, like I said, the only way we can help ourselves is to support one another, and that is one critical importance. That I mean, the, the the pandemic has taught us the lesson. When we came together, we share ideas, we share data, we're able to arrive at a solution. So thank you very much, and I'm happy to be part of this wonderful panel and discussion. Thank you. It was uh, really nice interacting with both of you, Doctor Sudhir, Sansil. and uh, unfortunately moala uh, got disconnected because of his uh, network issue but we will try to loop him in as a part of another discussion so that he could share more details about the work that he's doing and the impact that he's also trying to create so if anyone in the audience has any question any question feel free to post free to post in the chat box in the chat box And, uh, and it was really uh, nice was interacting really nice with both of you dr sudhir and also francis Sudeen we look forward to interacting with both of you interacting with both of you in many more upcoming in sessions many more upcoming sessions yeah thank you very much yeah. thank you very so much with, thank you so with so with this we come to an end to today's session which was the first ep- episode of the global goals uh, sustainability dialogue and we will come up with new set of speakers next sunday next sunday same time same time so stay tuned so stay tuned yeah bye 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 everyone bye everyone thank you